Be sure to get my free audio book, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Please check out the information box below for that book and other offers. What's going on, people? What's going on? Happy Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day this is going to come out. We're at day 22, 30 days to 2,500 bucks. Several people have crossed over the $2,500 barrier. So this project, which was beta, you know, just to, if you're new, this course I did just off the top of my head. I thought about it for a long time, but I just actually one day said I'm going to do it. If you show up between four and five, the course is free. If you want the recorded versions, you have to pay for those. But links below if you want to be a part of it on the last leg and it'll be a ongoing thing once I'm done with it, but more on that later. Thank you for calling Conundrum Media. Please leave a message and we'll return your phone call within 24 hours. I was talking to a friend. And you know how when you live life, you just live life. You don't really think about a lot of stuff until something happens and makes you... Because it'll trigger a moment. Because, you know, when I was going through my... Um, trials and tribulations serious trials and tribulations I was living in the boarding house but due to the fact that I made some very poor decisions I had to work in what's called a labor pool labor force, labor ready essentially it's a place you show up at 4 o'clock in the morning you sit in there and you wait until jobs come in that you can go out and you can get paid, otherwise known as day labor I did that for a few years because it was the only thing I can get because uh, I was a messed up puppy. But what's funny is having this conversation and really just looking at some stuff, it prepared me for the future. Because in that two year, because there, there was a certain matriculation from, you know, because it, it's too much to do in one video. There's going to be several videos about this because there's a lot of freaking stories with it. But I'll just tell you maybe 164 type of jobs. Once I figured out the system, because labor force labor, it's a system. And all branches are not created equal, because I was telling my friend that branches on the south side had certain jobs, but you go to Marietta, it was a totally different groove, because I actually would, you know, when I had my car, I would go to Marietta, because the, the jobs paid more than you had a car, they would give you extra money and gas money, so it was more money. But, I'll talk about my first day there. I remember I was broke and I was just, you know, living in the boarding house. And one of the guys was like, well, you can go to labor ready. I was like, what's labor ready? Oh, this is, man, it's freaking awesome. You know, like, if you don't have any money, that's where you want to go. You just go there, um, sign up. You know, they go, you got to have ID. You got ID. Yes, you got ID. Well, they gonna, you got to fill out your paperwork, but you go there early in the morning and if you're lucky, you'll get to go out on the job. And at the end of the day, you will get paid. Well, they'll give you a check, but you have to cash it at the Chinese store. That was his exact words. Because you can't cash them at the bank. I was like, I wasn't really, really enthused about this. But I was broke. And broke produces a certain level of motivation that you never knew you had. So I got on Marta and went up to College Park, filled in. I was... A fish out of water. You ever been to a place or a situation where it was clear that you were unlike all the other people there? I mean, it was just the stark contrast. So I go in there. I don't know what I'm doing. So I go to the desk. They give you this clipboard. You fill out all this stuff. And you know, I have my ID and everything. My first day there, I went out. And it, it was... Because the guy came from behind the counter, because I was there about an hour and a half, and he says, anyone has any experience with lab equipment? I was like, yeah, you know, I know. And it's like, uh, sent me to some warehouse to pack up beakers and shit. And the thing is, you had to know how to count. That was it. That, but they said lab equipment because they had had some people that didn't know how to count. And just to give you some background on the type of people there, drug addicts, alcoholics, people running from law enforcement. You have a ton of unsavory characters sitting there. And then you just have regular people who fell on hard times just looking to 
make some money. But there was a lot of guys on probation. There was a ton of guys on probation because I remember one morning we were sitting there and then two police officers came in and literally seven guys like started heading to the back. I mean, just got all you heard was chairs scratching and stuff because there was these folding chairs they put out. And I was, everybody looked around and they were all heading out. And the cops immediately got curious and said, hey, stop. <laughs> It was like they were just coming in for a totally unrelated incident and end up arresting two because two had warrants. And the other ones gave them false names. <laughs> this was the environment that I was operating in. And I look at it. Well, I go out the first day. And the people at the company liked me. So I went out, you know, I was had a steady ticket. It was like I didn't even have to go to labor ready i just went there every day which kind of was a pain because that first day i got like 38 bucks which i had to use until i got paid again because i didn't have any money that is one of the things that really i i forgot about honestly i i forgot about because it it's been so long since i've been far removed what made me really think about it was i did a consult it took me like two and a half hours to do and I realized I made more money in those two and a half hours than I made in a month of back breaking work. Because I'll tell you about all these stories. Because there's just shit that just went on that just it make. I'm like, damn. Because you know, it's been so long. I mean, this was the freaking nineties, and I was just sitting there and just smiling and shit because. You know, you make more money from your neck up than you do from your neck down. And like Sugar Shane Mosley, whoever, or you are throwing a football or something. You just make more money from the neck up. And I was sitting at my desk and I just realized those times that, I mean, it was like five bucks an hour, six bucks an hour. Because the pay range was from like five something. Like the best one I had was like twelve fifty, but that was skilled labor. And it's... um. It's really, really crazy when I think about it because there's a lot of people who are in that situation now because our world is full of opportunity for certain groups of people. It's not. There's like, I have more opportunities than I can handle. You know, it's just, I have to be careful and like, what's the best opportunity for me? Yet right now, there's some dude at his kitchen table He's not going to work today. He doesn't have a job. Money's running out. And he's like, what the hell am I going to do? There's somebody very close to me in this neighborhood, some, you know, where I'm at. Somebody's going thinking that right now. Uh, there's somebody who is dreading the end of the month because they don't have rent. And I look at this and I go, what's the difference between those people and myself and i thought about it all day yesterday because i was like what is the difference and the difference is i failed miserably i failed massively but i never stopped that's the only difference i never stopped and sometimes you have to do radical things to get yourself out of a radical situation because what's coming there's an article I put up in my Hustle University why in 2020, 50% of the country is going to be outsourcing or freelancers. It's coming. I fully believe it. I fully believe it because you, there are people right now, the corporation is going to fire them and hire them back as an independent contractor on 1099 because that's going to save them payroll fees. 7%, something like that. And other things that it's going to save them because this person's an independent contractor still doing the same work, just a different structure. So I, I really see how half the country in the next six to seven years is going to be freelancers. It's coming. So for you, you got to really figure out how you can make that transition now from a person with a job to a person who creates jobs because it's coming. It's not like you're going to have a choice for a lot of you. You're not going to have a choice. A lot of you are going to be just where I was. You had a good job and the job went away and you were out there 
in the world where you had to make it happen. There was no friends, there was no family. It was just you against the world. So what are you gonna do? I, I'm telling you, I mean, I was just thinking about all that stuff last night as we were talking of all of those jobs, all those things. Cause uh, what I'm gonna do is, cause as he was talking and he was prompting memories, this is how I used to figure out what I got out of storage units. Like I would drive by the facility. Sometimes I eat for a long time, I lost the car. I still had all the master gate codes to a lot of properties. So I would just like get behind the gate and just drive. And, oh, I got that in there. So as he was talking, I was writing out, oh, this happened and this happened and this happened. And room, you're going to love rooms to go. You're going to love the rooms to go. I mean, that shit is crazy what happened there. Then I came up with like 22 video topics just from that conversation, just from having my memory jogged from all those things that happened. But I can tell you, if you're going through hard times, uh, if you're going through pivotal moments of your life you have to remember life is long you have to remember that if you have your health you are in good shape i know it may not sound like a lot right now when the bill collectors are coming at you people will want money from you you're not able to live the way you want to live that doesn't sound so good and heartwarming right now but i'm telling you life is long and play for the long game trust me on this play for the long game all right this is glendon be sure to download my free audiobook, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success, and sign up for the webinar today. All right, this is Glendon, and I'll see you on the good side.